So this week, like I said, we're talking about insulin resistance and the thyroid, and I want to discuss how it relates to cholesterol levels as well. So we have the handy dandy whiteboard, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. I'll move it over a little bit. So the thyroid is the master. We talk about that a lot. And it does control blood sugar or your glucose level. So when we're talking about insulin resistance, we want this glucose level below an 86. So that's the optimal lab value for functional medicine. But as you can see, glucose and high blood sugar, high insulin levels also drives cholesterol. So if you have been prescribed a statin, if you're on a statin right now, if you've been told that your cholesterol levels are less than optimal, it could be that you have insulin resistance or you are pre-diabetic and that your glucose number, your fasting glucose is above an 86. Now we also want to check your hemoglobin A1C. That's a beautiful snapshot of three months of what your blood sugar and your insulin have been doing. If they've been on a roller coaster, if they've been up and down or not. So that's a great static number, whereas glucose can easily go up and down. But in general, you want your glucose below an 86, and you want that hemoglobin A1C number to be right at about 5.6. We can also do a fasting insulin number as well for those three, that, that triple um, shot of what your, your blood sugar and your insulin is doing and whether or not you are insulin resistant. But please know that if these numbers are off, your cholesterol numbers will be off as well. Now we can do a whole segment on cholesterol numbers and how people tend to get prescribed a statin when the, the cholesterol numbers actually look good because over time that total cholesterol optimal lab value for the standard conventional medicine has lowered. So it used to be 300 was healthy and safe and now they've dropped it down to 200. Um, so we can discuss that at a later time. But just please know that if we optimize your thyroid, oftentimes we will see a, a decrease in insulin and blood glucose. And then we'll also see a decrease in cholesterol levels to where they'll come back into a range where your doctor is happy and you don't have to be on a statin. Now, even a little bit higher cholesterol may still be healthy, but optimizing the thyroid as the master gland is what's going to affect the blood sugar, glucose, and the cholesterol number as well. So we can see how they all interplay and they feed off of each other, but it all comes back to really optimizing this thyroid and then everything else falls into play. If you have any questions, please ask them below. I'd be happy to answer them. And please share this with anyone that you know who's on a statin or who is struggling with diabetes, prediabetes, or insulin resistance because it might be that they haven't had their thyroid checked thoroughly with all of the labs, like we always talk about, thorough labs and optimal lab values, that might be the answer right there. So if we balance their thyroid, they get to come off their diabetes medication because we can reverse their diabetes. They get to come off their cholesterol medication because the thyroid being the master has brought their cholesterol into, into alignment. So definitely share this and ask me questions below.